baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Should come in handy. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap.
act up fast, Edie. Look up. We've got company. regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The Collector's rich source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. Cerberus is not known for keeping faith. There has to be some other explanation. The elusive man wouldn't do this to us. He... he just wouldn't. Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not using another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
Understood. Easy enough. One left.
now. Get us the hell 
not here. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector's ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. 
That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you.